Well, this isn't what I actually expected at all when it actually came to the preview for Dragon Ball Super Episode 114. Um, because we all thought that what we were actually going to end up seeing was, uh, you know, the, the, the normal fusion, the fusion dance between Kale and Khalifla, but no, they have Potara earrings. Um, so this is just my thoughts after watching the, the raw episode itself, I haven't seen it with the subtitles, the episode 113 was actually really amazing, just Goku as a Super Saiyan 2 fighting against Khalifa, just fantastic episode, really good animation, I, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 just for that, it was great. Um, but for the next episode we see the preview and... We, we see the new warrior, obviously, the fusion between Kale and Khalifla, which, like I said, they used Potara. Now, I don't know how they aren't going to get raised or they aren't going to get banned. Maybe uh, Zen is going to be like, you know what? They're cool. This is cool. I really like this fight. So they might actually end up, um, how do I put it, just letting them use it because they're not, like, they're not a Kai, so they're going to stay... Uh, they're not going to stay fused, is what I meant to say. Uh, I wonder how Goku's going to end up. I feel like Goku's going to have to go at least Super Saiyan Blue to fight them. Uh, because they're two high potential Saiyans. Like, Khalifa was keeping up with Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Uh, she was gaining on him that whole fight. She was... Like, that fight was drawing out her potential. So I have a feeling that in the next episode... We might even see... A return of Ultra Instinct, but I doubt that. I think that Goku's just gonna go Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, he's gotta get his stamina back pretty quickly. Like, he went Super Saiyan 3 at one point in the episode, and he reverted back immediately because he didn't have enough stamina to maintain that yet. So, I guess he showed them. But I wonder what their transformation is gonna be for Kayla and Khalifa. Are they gonna go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Berserk? Or a mixture of the two because they're a fusion now. So hypothetically, the fusion should be able to use Super Saiyan Berserk, and I wonder how strong they're gonna be. So I hope that Goku's able to, you know, hold his own against them. I'm interested to see in what the angels and all the other universes think because obviously they're gonna see that it's a Patara fusion about hey, what's going on? Uh, isn't that the lad? And then I bet the Grand Priest is gonna ask Zeno, because there was no rule stating that fusion was banned, so the Omni King would be like, oh, that's that's cool, you know, it's fine, but I don't know, I'm just excited, the thing, the weird thing is, uh, appearance-wise, the fusion heavily resembles Kale, but I bet personality-wise it's going to be Khalifa, like that's my guess on it, because... Uh, the dominant personality takes over in, in the Patara fusion and well not really dominant p personality, but I don't know. I have a feeling that it's gonna be mostly Khalifa in this fusion uh, Honestly, it's so cool to get another Patara fusion like people are gonna be hating on this probably But for me, it's like hey, it's a Patara fusion. It's more fan service I mean, we, li we literally just got Super Saiyan 3 Goku in the last episode, so the next episode we're getting Patara fusion That's gonna be so awesome to see. I hope that they don't get eliminated here I don't want them to be eliminated because I want to see more potential from them too And also I really don't want to see number 6 go just yet I want to see number 6, you know, just stay for a little bit more Because there's 22 minutes left of the tournament at this point Um, I wonder if like, I think Shampa actually gave them the Patara earrings He like snuck him into the tournament So He's definitely been doing something But I'm wondering On the topic of this, okay What if before they get eliminated, uh, they somehow give the Patara earrings to Goku, and then we see some sort of fusion between, we see the return of Super Vegito Blue, or Super Blue Vegito, like how cool would that be? And then maybe we'll even see an Ultra Instinct Vegito, I mean, at this point that seems very likely that that would happen, uh, Ultra Instinct Vegito against Jiren. That'd be awesome to see, I, w I won't lie, I think that Ultra Instinct Vegeta... But, the question here is, how long would he stay in that fusion? Because, Blue only lasted for like 5 minutes in the Patara fusion, so what about Ultra Instinct, would it be like 2 minutes? 
If they can't win the battle in two minutes and then defuse, they're gonna be exhausted. There's gonna be no energy left for either of them. So it, it would be a gamble, uh, to say the least. But I don't know, I'm just really excited to see what happens. Tell me what you guys think of this reveal in the preview. Uh, are you guys excited to see the fusion of Khalifa and Kale? Kefura, that's pretty much the Japanese name. Kefura makes her appearance in the next episode, Explosive Birth of a New Super Warrior. I'm super excited to see it. I really am. I just can't wait for the next episode. This, like I said, this episode was just phenomenal in terms of the animation, the fight. It's literally what every Dragon Ball Z, like every core Dragon Ball Z fan that really enjoyed Dragon Ball Z for its fights will really enjoy this episode because the whole episode is it doesn't really focus on anyone else it's literally just on Goku, Khalifa and Kale it's just the three of them and then you know the gods talking like Beerus and Shampa and Whis and Krillin and all of them just you know giving their commentaries it was awesome so you know go check it out uh, thank you so much for watching leave your thoughts on the new fusion and on the episode 113 if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys later. Also, remember to leave a rating below because it helps out the channel and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you later. Take care, everybody. Peace.